Richard Mansell hoving up today with the birdie at the uh, par five first. He's reeled off a couple of pars, but another chance here at four. Gratefully accepted. He's been in good form lately. Chastising himself as he wanders away. Let's go to Ni Nigel. Richard Mansell at the fifth. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of this straw-coloured wispy stuff is not as bad as it looks, but that looks like it's found a lush clump. Whew, demanding little pitch coming up too. Well, almost from Richard Mansell there. It's been a real struggle so far, this fifth hole for Richard Mansell. He's left himself with a good bit of footage for his par. So that's going to be the first bogey today for the Englishman. To six under, five behind our leader Thomas Peters. Oh, this is that horrible length bunker shot for Mansell, where you've got to go at it flat out with a square face. It's done well. E very easy to duff those, and very easy to get it skinny, and it disappears into the next county. Richard Mansell. Birdie opportunity. Quite slow initially, then it drops away down at the hole and drops into the hole. Oh. Beautifully done. Sandwich that bogey between two birdies. Richard Mansell lined up down the left side towards the left bunker. Going to slide this one off it from left to right and has done so absolutely to order. Now you're wondering, okay, one's airmailed the green, one's come up short. Trust the yardage, trust the club, trust your swing. And do that, beautiful. Nice approach shot from Richard Mansell and beautifully hold. Richard Mansell then on the 10th tee, the par 5. 603 yards, but we did see players get to the green in two yesterday. Two big blows. See Richard Mansell second to 10. We know he can reach the green with the drive and an iron. He's got the ball in perfect place off the tee itself. This drive was humongous. Oh, pity, pity. Mm, enough green here for this not to be a big problem. Open face, out to in. Oh, yeah. Told you it wasn't a problem, Barty. Told you. Two whole bunker shots in the space of about <laughs> ten minutes. Don't you love it? Don't you just love it? Struggling a bit there, Polkinen, with that one. Here's Mansell up the hill at the par 5, 12. And his body line's aiming down the left-hand side and using that little bit of fade to move the ball back into the fairway. So, Mansell from the fairway at 12. What's he got to go here? Just under 260 yards. 
penalty area waiting pin high right so he needs to avoid that side ball above his feet should help him do that asking it to land softly and it obeys feels right to left for Richard Mansell this I think it might just hang on it's a great opportunity to pick up a couple down the hill. The Eagle to 10th. Oh. <laughs> and he has come so close to an Eagle at 12 as well. Look, a little bit of the ball hanging over the hole. I don't think it's going to drop. So he taps it in, but that's three under for the first three holes of the homeward stretch. What, four under the last four. Great move from Mansell as he climbs alongside Thomas Peters. One off the lead. Normally good shape with the ball, Richard Mansell. Good player, strong player, hits it well off the tee. Green's a little bit carved up, actually. It's a busy little area. I think everyone's chipping around, floating around, trying to work out the line, me included. You're reading them very well, Anthony, I must say. Bluffing, Tim. No. Again, <laughs> a very committed swing, hit it hard. So it looks like it was the seven iron. And Anthony's spot on in saying they're just between clubs. They can't quite get the seven to the pin, but they don't want to take that six and whip it over the green. Richard Mansell, despite the fatigue he's feeling, six weeks in a row, some of which in contention has been draining for him. To tie the lead. Beautiful. Good day, excellent back nine for the Englishman. So he joins Gavin Green at 12 under. to 17 this time Richard Mansell and, con and continuing to practice the downswing trying to get a bit of width doesn't want the club to drop underneath him obviously just trying to stay focused we're hearing he's reasonably fatigued had a long summer 211 so really six eyeing in these warm conditions again center of the greens just fine Twizzle of the club told you everything you needed to know about that one. He loved it from the moment he struck it. That was a really high quality shot. Here we go. Mansell. No one's got it close up. Oh, what a shame. Would have been just the second birdie today on the 17th. to look at those six footers and think they knock them in all the time but the stats tell us they hold about two in three so it's about 70 percent that they hold from six feet really just requires a little draw just from the right half stay away from that water you got the yellow sign.
So you'd see it as what, Anthony? I think you'd have to play the elevated shot. It's the harder shot, but I think the other one just doesn't get close. It's too much of a slope, it's too much grain, it's too soft. You've just got to be able to play the down slope. There you go. That wasn't a long backswing like the practice, let me tell you. Yeah, it was a high tariff shot, wasn't it? Really was. You could see him when he addressed the ball, laying the blade wide open. Leading edge was well off the ground, so he had to get the angle of attack spot on and didn't. As pitches go, that was as hard as it got for Mansell. Sometimes you've got to be realistic with your goals and maybe just find a way to get it inside 10 or 12 feet, not looking for the perfect shot. This is a load easier, but after a duffy one, they often don't feel that way. But he's just seen Snyder's putt, so this is similar. So he's got a good picture of what he needs to do here. Oh, that is excellent. It really is. Because your mind would be a little bit scrambled egg after duffing a pitch and pitching the next one 10 feet past. So that bogey will feel like a good save in the end. Richard, a second round at 66. How do you assess your performance today? Yeah, I played a lot of really good stuff today. Um, obviously disappointed with the little finish. Missed a five, six foot around 17 and bogey in the last, but managed to hold a good putt and kind of use it as momentum. So hopefully more of the same tomorrow. You mentioned the putt. How important was that bogey? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Obviously, I should never make bogey from where I was, but we didn't read the lie properly in the semi-rough and got the wind probably a little bit wrong with the altitude as well so um, yeah I actually I didn't play a practice round this week so I wasn't didn't know how severe it was at the back of the green obviously it's quite soft so um, the shot wasn't very easy to be honest and uh, in the end I was just happy to make five not six. Talk to us about that chipping at 10 that was a nice little bonus. Yeah um, we got there and um, we kind of said yesterday even if you go in that front bunker it's not the end of the world. Um, because you haven't got to deal with the slope in the middle of the green. Um, and we got up there and it wasn't lying great, so I've really tried to kind of cut across it to kind of get it up and, yeah, <laughs> just seemed to be my day at that point and it managed to go in, so. You've mentioned a couple of times recently about your situation with the category and having to play a lot of golf. What exactly is that? Yeah, so category 17 um, means I've, because I finished 150 something on the race to buy last year, I've had limited starts, so I haven't been able to get any of the, any of the big stuff. So um, I'm playing, and just that's why I'm not playing practice rounds at the moment, just because I'm quite tired. Um, so I'm just conserving energy when I can, because I've got to keep playing to try and get my ranking as high as possible, because I really want to make race to buy, um, and hopefully get a couple of opportunities later on in the year to kind of kick on. So yeah, I'm playing this week. Um, I'm playing next week, and then I've managed to get in Himmeland, which I didn't think I would. So. After that, I don't know what I'm going to get in on my category. Um, so I've just got to keep playing at the moment. And like I say, trying to ride a little bit of a wave. So Fourth last week, in contention, heading into the weekend in Prague. You must be relishing it. Yeah, um, I learned a lot last Sunday. Um, tied for the lead with eight or nine to play. Um, Ewan obviously went on to win, which was, he was very deserving. But um, I did feel like I missed potentially an opportunity with my finish last week. Um, I pushed a little bit hard at the end and kind of I've learned from that so yeah it's nice to kind of shoot two good scores the first two days this golf course suits me down to the ground to be honest I had a few people asking me why am I here this week and I'm like I just I like the golf course so I really think I can go and do well there so um, yeah it suits my strengths and I'm glad I've proved that so far so I'm looking forward to building on that on the weekend well played today Richard and good luck for the weekend cheers guys thank, thank you, you to watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe, click here.